Hi, thanks for tuning in to our video on uh, producing a new sport fishing boat. Uh, this is uh, video number six. Uh, and if you haven't seen the other ones, you probably want to start with the first one. But uh, going back to the last video, we had done these pieces and I believe they were in place. We put them in place there and there. Maybe they weren't in place or not, I, I can't remember, but they were made. So anyhow, they're in place. Uh, so we finished that and then we finished the top surface right up to where it uh, cur curves up. So that's, it just still needs some fine uh, sanding. Uh, so next, this was the major part we did. We finished the transom area. So we started with uh, making the inside piece, securing that, and then we put two pieces together here and put those in, did all the bracing inside, then this piece and then the top piece. And it's all made out of uh, MDF, some's half inch and some's five eighths. And you can see here, you can probably see some holes there. There's some screws. So this is gonna come out. This is where the transom doorway is gonna be. But we wanted to do the complete transom before we took the cutouts, just so we can finish it properly, get the shape. So the next step, we're gonna be putting this piece in. So this goes in the middle here. It'll be on an eight degree angle. And that just allows clearance for the motor to tilt up. So we'll do that. And this is half inch MDF. And there's some fiberglass in the corners to make the curve. And then, and then we'll do our transom doorway. So we've got these pieces already fabricated. And it just goes like that. And then it'll sit right here. And what I showed you in the last video was making this piece. So this will be an opening here and that'll be access to the batteries. And we'll make a hatch that goes over top. So the next thing we're gonna do is, is uh, cut the transom out and put this in place. And then we'll do the transom doorway. Okay, skipping forward, we've got uh, lots done. Here's the transom doorway, all installed. Here's the, uh, that notch cut out for the motor tilt. And we've uh, added, you can't see, but we've added uh, the drains here, two drains uh, for the motor well. And you can see it's all polished up. It's nice and shiny. We're just about ready to take a mold off. Uh, we still have to do the non-skid uh, here and in these areas, um, but we're, we're close. Okay, here's our, our bow rail we've had made. So what we want to do is position where we want it, and then we're going to uh, kind of trace around it, and that's going to stay smooth. And so the non-skid will, will go around the, the rail base. Uh, it just looks professional. And here is where we're gonna install the port lights or some may call windows. So here it is, here it is here. It's covered in uh, masking tape to protect it, but it is uh, uh, glossy uh, uh, stainless steel. So the situation with this is it is very stiff and it will not bend. So we had to create a straight, like a flat surface. And this is not a flat surface, it's curved. It's, it's straight vertically, but horizontally it, it is curved. So I spent quite a bit of time thinking how we we're gonna do this. And, and also, you have to maintain a slope. 
of at least two degrees uh, in order for the part to come out of the mold. So anywhere in this whole thing, you gotta have a couple degrees typically uh, or more. Uh, so you can kind of see the outline, here it is. So after a lot of thinking, I figured, I figured it out. So what I did was I made a board uh, and then I offset three eighths from the edge. So that's my mounting surface. I cut that out and then I, I uh, offset that another three quarters of an inch. I laid that out here and then we cut out the deck. So now we have the mounting board and our cutout and then in between we have a three quarters of an inch gap all the way around. And then I put that board and I, let's put that down. This point and this point Right, right, right in the, uh, the quadrant, I guess you call it. Uh, I made it flush with the deck. So here and here, it's flush. And then I tilted it. Uh, the angle of this varies. It, as we go forward, it increases. It's, it's probably around five degrees from, from vertical. So I took my piece, flush here, flush there, and then I tilted it. So it's, it's actually tilted up a bit to about uh, two or three degrees. And now we filled in the gap all the way around. Uh, so anything below here, it's actually recessed. This, this uh, mounting surface is recessed from the deck, if you can see that. Anything above, it actually sticks out. Not so much. It's more recessed than and it sticks out here. And I also had to, you know, get back to the original deck. We didn't want to touch the corners here or up here. So we managed to do that just barely. And that's, that's up at the bow here. We've uh, done a few things. One is to make a, a recessed area for the anchor roller and it is at a slope. Uh, one reason we've done that is so the anchor will launch easier. And the other reason is so it's, it's easier to install without measuring. Uh, so you can just, it'll only fit in one spot. It's designed for a specific roller. Um, and the other thing, is we've done uh, an anchor locker so you can actually pull your anchor out of here or if you for whatever reason you got to get in access in, to get inside there's your locker uh, so that's that a uh, few more things we need to do uh, before we can do the mold one is uh, do the non-skid we've got to do a whole lot of waxing uh, a little bit more polishing, uh, fixing any little defects, and we have to do flanges around here, the the edge of the the mold or the deck, uh, and then we're going to be laying up the mold. <laughs>